Wow! Sonic Puff, both these characters make me sick! <laughs> uh, but game one, everybody, here we go. One. On Battlefield, so there's gonna be plenty of opportunity for them to run away and... At least we got the good music. Um, yes. So who on this planet knows this matchup? Um, we can make assumptions based off of, you know, how, like, like how we can assume, you know, Jigglypuff wants to sort of just hover and just sort of hit Sonic, but Sonic can be a, a fly on the wall, you know? So, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna bullshit you and tell you I know the intricacies of this matchup, but what I do know is that Sonic likes to get a lot of hits all at once and just dip. He's not gonna be able to do that on one of the lightest characters in the game, yep. and Puff just likes to edge guard because Puff can actually edge guard decently, if slow. But getting to those mutual situations for them is going to be pretty difficult, I feel, just because Sonic's so fast and Puff just isn't. Yeah, I feel like, you know, we're probably in for a long set at this point, um, just from, from the way this is making me feel. But I mean, to be honest, I'd be disappointed if it was done lightning quick, because I feel like this is such like an on-paper toxic matchup with the reputations that these two characters have. Yeah. That if it ends up being like clean, honest smash, it'll just be like unfulfilling. <laughs> I get it. Wow, almost hitting with that backer, taking that first stock from Pat Ryan, but a lingering there, you know, knocking Sonic back on stage. Um, I wonder who's going to take this first stock, because I feel like, you know, maintaining a lead as either of these two characters can prove rather frustrating for whoever's losing. Oh yeah, this could, this could be a hell of a runaway game for either character. Because Pat could either, like, just platform camp, and we might be seeing that as he breaks first blood with up tilt. And then, of course, Sonic can just run damn near everywhere and just counter hit with forward air and air as needed. One of my biggest issues with Sonic, and this is not just a, you know, you know, you know, talk smack about Sonic. He has a movie coming out. Yeah, great. But, uh, like, I feel like a character like Sonic has, like, you would, you would think fast games, but most, more often than not, Sonic games tend to, you know, not go to time every, oh, well, that was interesting. I'm not going to go to time all the time, but, you know, they typically are slower matches. Um, but a good side B, I think it was, into up air. Um, some blue tire there, taking first stock. Um, so let's see who can peck the other one more right now. Yeah, Sonic's a bit odd in this game if you're more used to seeing him from other Smash games, just because when it comes to the actual like close quarters, Sonic is really aggressive, and Sonic is a pretty interesting combo game, just because there's so many buttons being pressed on you all at once, and there's very little opportunity for most characters to break off. But getting to that point is such a commitment for Sonic that you often see him like just dip in and out, make use of his speed, faint out his approach. Because if he guesses wrong, you just bully him because he doesn't have any good breakaway buttons of his own. Yep. Okay, so they're both trying to fill each other out. Sonic, you know, keeping most of the stage control, uh, which is good, but Jigglypuff doesn't necessarily care. Um, uh, I mean, if we're bringing back the concept of timeout, Pat's playing it out nicer over Blutera just because... Wow, good dash attack, not taking it there. Okay, what are we going to do? Not enough, and just respect his return to ledge. Don't get the forward smash. Right? Oh, up, to speed, up tilt killing. Um, that up tilt had some pretty big startup, but still managing to get it out there. Uh, Blutera down to his last stock here with three and a half minutes left on the clock. He's just not finding his in, and I feel like that also has to do with the fact that Puff is such a small target. Mm -hmm. Like, most characters, you could spin charge, and you'll get, like, a little hit, and that'll bring yep. yourself into some better hit, but why did that try? I could have sworn, um, wasn't it, like, a more recent one of the updates, the recent updates, may have been the Terry update, where Jigglypuff got some, some good changes that, like, leads to, like, down air, down Bs, down yeah. air rest, and things like that? It, they're admittedly still risky, because it's it's never going to be as good as it was in Melee, yep. Yep. but Puff did get legitimate confirms into rest. Yeah, it's just, I imagine, like, you know, the way this game can be goofy sometimes, it just it tends to be inconsistent. It's also more effective the larger your target is, and to be fair, Sonic's a bit on the lengthier end, and yep. his hurt boxes kind of reflect that. That's one of the saving graces of the character, is that he himself is kind of a pain in the neck to bully, if you have a, a smaller character or, like, a very precise character. Yeah, just like that, Blue Terror is the one with the lead, yeah, two and yeah, a half minutes I, on the clock. I don't know if it's Pat Ryan being a little antsy, or Blue Terror sort of changing the timings of his, of his, you know, obnoxious that dashes, but um, it's it's working out for Ryan. He finally takes the lead here with two minutes left on the clock. Doesn't look like we're going to hit time this game, but um, he just, he's hitting him right now. 
Yeah, I think the biggest adaptation is the fact that all of a sudden Blue Terror started putting homing attack at the end of his combos instead of trying to go for a normal aerial. Oh. And that's oh. much more important because homing attack doesn't matter how well you're moving with Puff. Yep. It's slow enough that it's able to autocorrect. Oh, dash attack. Uh, Your he, TI was I, bad. I think he held north, so he's dead. And, um... Pat Ryan taking that first stock, first game. Dev, can we get that last stock real quick? That looks like some north by northeast type. Well, you want to look at the DI line? I, I love looking it's at like the a DI three, line. It's like in three dimensions. It's like pointing at us. The show is in 3D. And... Damn! <laughs> Damn, was that, like, frame by frame? There's no, uh... There was no DI? If there's no thingy, that means there's no DI. Oh, so he just... He took his hand off. He just let go of the controller. He was like, yeah. damn, I guess he got look, it. Look at his face. Look at his face in the bottom left. He can't believe it. <laughs> okay, so very good by Pat Ryan there. Taking first stock. If you see that white controller on the table on the left and against the wall, that's my controller. Oh, nice. It's driving me crazy that it's over there right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I wonder where we're going to go. I imagine maybe... Maybe less space, maybe no platforms, or... You know, more space and platforms. Um, well, the space and platforms is still good for Sonic. It's just that Pat was able to take more advantage. If anything, this... Assuming Blue Terror recognized that, like, hey, these homing attacks are really helping me keep the damage war in my favor, I could see a lot more spin charge, homing attack, dip. But, it remains to be seen. Let's see how it works out for Game 2. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Okay. Oh, interesting trade. That's Things like that tend to lead to SDs, but, you know, both players making it back. Wow, Sonic's dash attack did doo-doo damage. Um, okay, 17. Well, good parry, but Puff yeah. doesn't have a lot of options yeah, out of Pat, there. Pat Ryan falling victim to Sonic's vortex a little bit of get hit by a spin dash move, get your landing caught, you know, over and over again, and, you know, Pat Ryan taking like 70%, but, you know, he's back in it right now. Oh, interesting. Did he try to get springed it down there? That would have been cute. Would have been a lot of damage, too. This is probably the most dangerous this match can get, besides it being on last stock, is the really tight percentage war forces one of them to have to, like, go for something that'll get a lot of stage control, get them a couple of hits in, some string that'll lead to some oh, good crunchy there. advantage. Hold on now. All these late hit aerials. I don't know if Jiggy Cross F Smash can even two frame, um, but maybe he was expecting a beefy or even a homing attack. Fair not taking it there. We're gonna chase. Chase.com. Okay, nothing. No. Uh, That's not loading. Uh, I lied. <laughs> I don't think she. Did Jiggy Cross land? Okay, now we landed. All right. Good idea opting for a nair. Uh, Sit some land with that and get your jumps back as Jiggy Cross. How are we getting back? Oh. <laughs> How did that snap? Damn. That, that was like mess and a half. I was gonna say, yeah, that's some. That was really gross. Although I guess that's good to know. I don't think they're supposed to kill that early. But I guess it's puff, so. What move was it? It was a. Uh... You know, like 120 before what, the throw. What, what move? Oh, uh, back throw. Back throw. Uh, yeah, definitely sus the eye most likely. Um. Okay, Jiggly Nair, one of Jiggly's more good options, especially at a shield, uh, taking that stock to Blue Terror. It's just obnoxious because it stays there forever. Oh, he's mixing right now. That was kind of cute. Yo, they're scrapping. Oh, because it was near the ledge, he wasn't able to get a proper yep. lock. Oh, wow, answering that back with the... Oh my god, Pat Ryan going in right now. Okay, a lot of F-Smash um, reads coming out here. By both people, both Sonic and Jigglypuff, but um, neither have hit so far this set, I think. The landing there is really working that well for Pat because it's breaking through spin charge. Oh! Oh, you're F disgusting F for it! Yep, F smash. Good, good job by Pat Ryan there getting the jab lock. Blue Terror in Terror right now. Um, let's see if he can take this stock. Oh, up, up air not hitting there. No interrupt, alright. Notice how Pat isn't as willing to play the clock for this one. Yep. Like he's trying to just stay right on top of the Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like once I feel like he, he smells the blood in the water. It's good sense that like I think he has a good handle on Blue Terror's like neutral options, and Blue Terror's having a hard time switching it up. And Pat Ryan's just like not mashing, but going in and hitting him with the right buttons. Like he knows he can get away with these buttons. Yes. 
That being said, though, Pat didn't put a lot of uh, damage out on Ruterra. Ruterra manages to equalize these stocks. It's pretty oh. doable. Oh, hold on now. Blade he might be way oh, too oh, far. Go. Nair, okay. Uh, ah! Air dodge! Oh. Ah! That was a good air dodge. Pat Ryan is feeling it right now. A miracle that both of them live there. Yeah. Oh! Use every jump of Jigglepuff. Pat Ryan, like, yo, GG's. <laughs> Shake my hand. <laughs> he stood up with the quickness, too. Don't shoot me! Oh! Got him. <laughs> I was waiting for the transition, Devin.